guys, it is Jay Sakai, and today we are hold on, making slime. Um, really simple. Oops. It's it is it does get a little messy when you clean it, so I will just when you clean that, so like it stretches. It's fun to just like swirl up. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make this slide and it's really easy. Um, let me set it down and set it flat now. Okay, so first you're going to need a container. I've already used this one to make this slime. You're going to need a container. You're going to need to put some water at the bottom of the container. And then you're going to need some liquid gel soap. Then you're going to pour some of that in there. And that's how that gets slime. So, put some of that in there. I broke my spoon trying to stir it. So, then you're just going to stir that really well. And then if you want, you can add a little bit more. Depends on how slimy you want it. Trust me, you're going to have to, now you're going to take cornstarch or like flour and you're just going to pour it a lot of it in there for the first time, like, probably about, I don't know, I'm pouring water, I'm just, I don't know, just, so then you're just going to take it, and you're going to stir it, and you'll notice that it'll start getting whitish, as you keep doing that, you're going to, um, keep adding cornstarch until you start seeing it stick together, and wow, I am, um, I literally am, like, out of cornstarch, and then keep stirring it, and like, I keep adding cornstarch, I can't blame it, out of it, and then like, as you keep doing that, you'll start noticing it's starting to form, and it gets harder. Another thing you can do for this as well is like if you run out of cornstarch, like I have a uh, like dumb spoon, or part of a spoon, you're gonna, you could use any toothpaste, then you just pour some in there, and that helps it as well, and I'm making the biggest mess in the world. So like you add some towel. Oh, I hate this. I dumped it on accident. But at least that's gonna lessen out some water. And you're just gonna keep stirring it and you'll notice that it's starting to get harder. And you just like keep doing it. And make sure you mix it all good. And then you're just gonna like like me, ran out of cornstarch, so I'm gonna add some. But if you guys have enough cornstarch, you guys are just gonna keep adding some of that. And it can be, like I said, any toothpaste, and then you just keep stirring it. And then you'll notice it starts getting like kind of liquidy. Still good, I need to wash my hands. Another thing I like to do is add this foam soap or something. Oh, well that's good. Just pour it the whole bottle. You don't need to pour all of it in there, or you're just gonna have to end up adding more. I came unexpected with this because I just like really want to start doing it. And then you can use like, I'm just going to go with like any gel stuff. I don't know why. Okay, let me set that back up there. And like I said, you 
just gonna keep stirring the bottom. Stirring my hands. Until you start. Hold on. I'm gonna put my hands up a little bit. Until you start getting this. And you'll notice because it's like really slimy and it like flows down. And the only reason my mind's not that good is because I add cornstarch to it, which would make it this stuff sticks easily. And you just it's really fun to play with. And if you have it good enough, I can probably add a tiny bit of that need more cornstarch. Let's see. It sticks. But like it forms into the slime format. Then it's hard to get off your hands. Um, and I'm going to test this on wood. My stool right there. Well first you just want to test it on somebody like throwing it down there like I did. And um, Just like do the slime down on the surface, it kind of off. hit it and like push it hard. Then you're just gonna play with it for a few seconds, and then you're just gonna test it if it picks up easily. If there's still a mess, keep trying and like get some. If you can, add some more corn starch, unlike me. Because I have no more cornstarch. So you're just going to keep, like, every time you put cornstarch on it, you're just going to keep adding water. Um, keep just, like, mixing it. And what's cool about this is, like, if you keep it going, it's just, like, hard. But, like, when you let go, it's just, like, it's, like, slimy and all that. It's just, like, to imagine swirling this it's so cool and so like the, like I was saying you need some water put in and then you need some gel soap so you need to like put water and it can be any type of gel soap it just has to be gel and then you put it in and you mix that and you add cornstarch and you keep mixing it until you get this and you can add more cornstarch as you go so it doesn't stick as I was explaining before and um this is a very fun sign to play with and yeah so it does get a little bit messy but the thing is is that like if you were going to play with this at school you need to um like like I said, like roll it up and then like throw it down on the surface. Let it stay there, like flatten it out, play with it. And then just like swipe it out and like try to clean it. And it'd be better if you did it on a wooden surface because desks are wooden and you have a clear space on it. You throw it down, you flatten it, and then you play with it. And then you just swipe it off, and it works better on a wooden surface. I'm saying, oh crap! I just dropped it. Okay, I just hurt myself. And like, if it gets stuck in your hands by you accidentally leaving it there too long without you noticing, hold on. But I'm not on that. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to set it on some, And then you just like play with it. Now if like you try it on like a toilet seat, which I am doing right now for no reason. If you throw it down, and like I said, like play with it and you take it off, there's still going to be some there, maybe none. Um, but if you do it on a wooden surface, if you swipe it good enough, it has one. 
and I just love playing with this because I mean like it's so stretchy and you can just curl it up and it's somewhat easy to clean. Now your hands will probably get messy making this so yeah and I just love this item. I'm gonna make some more slime videos so technically this is just like slime with I'll name the ingredients again if you want to do it again. S gel soap, water, cornstarch, and you can use a like, toothpaste in it. And like that keeps it all held together a little bit. And that's why this one's like, it stretches because of the soap and stuff. But see how like it just like rips apart after a while. Like just did like, if you do this, it stretches but then it rips. That's because the toothpaste was supposed to be holding it together and then it broke apart. I just love playing with this. It's fun to play with. Just fun to like roll in your hands and try to throw it up. If you can, like it's fun just like doing this and like waiting for it to come down instead of just ripping your hands. And you can shape it in a lot of different ways. Like, see, I shaped it like this, but okay, if I shape it upwards like that, it just slowly goes downwards and then forms back into the slime. Now you're going to have to keep this in an air sealed container so it doesn't dry out. And if you just want it slimier, you're going to need to add some more um, soap. But that means you're going to have to add a little bit more cornstarch in it as well. And so, I am a complete mess at making this, but I'm going to clean it. Well, goodbye, and I hope you have fun playing with the slime.